142 east side, 112. Illawarra defeating west side. Now the big upsets about the Canberra's win over the Falcons. We're fortunate to have uh, one of the superstars of uh, Australian basketball with us tonight in Phil Smythe, the captain of the Australian team and captain of the, the uh, Canberra Cannons who have just put up a great performance. Phil, you'd be very pleased with that last quarter. It looked in a little bit of trouble at stages of the game. Well, certainly uh, Newcastle did a great job on us for three quarters and we just uh, couldn't find range from outside, so their zone was giving us a lot of problems. And in the last quarter, uh, our percentage went up astronomically and uh, that was enough to get us through in the end. Yeah, what did Steve Breen say at three-quarter time? Because uh, you seemed to uh, play a lot uh, more aggressive on the fence and I thought uh, that you dominated the boards in that period as well. Yeah, he said, uh, look, the shots are there and stop being so tentative with it. Uh, if it's there, take it. If not, then pass it and cut and get on with it. We tended to be standing around and, and looking at the shot and thinking about it. And whenever you do that, you tend to shoot a poor percentage. And uh, once we came out and got a little bit more aggressive offensively, then things started to fall into place for us. I think uh, you showed your experience in the team there with uh, eight of your players, I think, averaging out of 11 points a game. Jamie Kennedy had very quiet... Uh, first half and he's come in and uh, really turned the game around in that uh, fourth quarter. Yeah I guess uh, with the sort of team we've got when someone gets a hot hand like Jamie did in the last quarter the players are aware of that and I guess that's experience in playing together. We tend to go to him as much as we can without uh, forcing it to him and he hit four or five shots almost in a row uh, which opened up the game for us. Yeah, we were pleased to see uh, Herb McGeechan play so well too because we, we spoke about uh, Herb prior to the game. He's, he's leading 261 NBL games and put in a good performance and actually picked up the uh, 22 points. Yeah, well Herb's a great player, a very deceptive player and uh, he's had to change his role this year. He's been a starter for, well, nine years in the league and his tenth year he's had to come off the bench as a sixth man and just, there's not many players that would do that and Herb's one of those great, not only players, but sort of person that was prepared to do that for the team and he could probably play another three or four years in that role. So we had a little listen in to uh, Steve Breeny coaching on the side and uh, we're quite impressed uh, seems to be concise and uh, reads the game very well. Yeah, well, Steve uh, used to be a school teacher, so he's got that sort of background, I guess, but uh, he was an Olympian. Uh, he's got a lot of experience, and he, he only gives two or three instructions, and they are very precise, and the players don't get overloaded with that. So uh, he was a great thinker as a player, and I think that's shown his coaching now. Phil, uh, on target for another NBL title, back-to-back -back titles? Well, I hope so. Things are falling into place all right for us at the moment. In fact, we were just saying uh, before I came out that we've got to play better if we want to win the title. So uh, the fellas know that we've still got a lot of work to do, so that's encouraging not to have an attitude where you think, well, you win, so we don't have to do any more. It's good form by yourself uh, tonight, and uh, that augurs well for the Australian team. Well, certainly we've got uh, a couple of big games coming up against uh, Kareem and his players, so uh, it's a good time to be on touch. Phil Smythe, they're a great champion and uh, a great basketballer indeed. More sports